What comes to your mind when I say the color pink? It could be Barbie pink doll, pink lipstick, pink Converse sneakers, pink toy phone, and so much more. But if you closely observe the pattern, you might notice that all the things are so girly. And why pink is seen as a girly color. But before all this crazy obsession with this so-called girly color, did you know that during the 1930s, pink was actually seen a boy's color, and blue as a girl's color? But thinking about this now is just straight up confusing. So join me as we go on in a crazy roller coaster journey to find out why pink is seen as the girly color. But before we go into the video, I noticed that only 1.7% have subscribed to my channel, and this broke my heart. So please, subscribe to my channel. You are pink. All these drama started with the babies. During the 19th century, the babies were dressed not in pink or blue, but just in plain white. They were dressed in white because white dresses were easy to wash and remove stains by using a strong, cheap bleach. But if you wear other colored clothes, you were seen as rich because the bleach and soap used to remove stains from a colorful dress was expensive. So dressing up a child in white was a perfect option for most of the American common people. But this all changed during the 1900s, when the bleaches and soaps used to remove stains from a colorful dress became cheaper, and thanks to industrialization. Now the parents had a wide range of options, but pink and blue stood apart of other colors, and it was widely popular among the parents. Many parents started dressing their boy in pink color because it was seen as a strong, bright color, and they dressed their girl in blue because it was seen as a fragile and pretty color. I know it sounds very sexist, but sexism was highly prevalent during this period. Still, some people were mixing up the order. But in 1918, an article from Earnshaw's Infants Department said that, the generally accepted rule is pink for the boys and blue for the girls. This bold statement was like passing the law, and people started following it since then. Until 1953. And this happened. President-elect Eisenhower and Mrs. Eisenhower arrive in Washington for the inauguration. Excited crowds hail the man who is to become America's new president. In 1953, the newly elected 34th U.S. President, Dwight D. Eisenhower's wife, Lady Mamie Eisenhower, wore a beautiful sparkling pink gown for her inaugural ball. And this grabbed the eyes of the media, and this news spread like wildfire across the country. Seeing this, Hollywood also slowly started adopting to the new pink trend and started wrapping the actresses in pink costumes. For example, in the movie Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. In this iconic scene, Marilyn Monroe wears this gorgeous pink gown, which became an unforgettable moment in pop culture. During the 50s, Christian Dior started pushing the pink color, making it even more popular. Soon the pink color slowly started penetrating into everyday lives of women as big brands and corporations started aggressively pushing the color pink in its marketing and advertisements. Fast forward to today, pink is no longer just a girly girl color. It's become a symbol of rebellion, power, and self-expression. But one noticeable thing is, women can wear pink and also blue, and everybody will say, Slay! But men can wear blue, but not pink. Even if men wore pink clothes, it is impossible not to get statements like weak, beta male, or gay. If you like this video, please leave a like and thank you so much for watching.